Hello, 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 hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Uh, coming back at you with this IRS saga that I had with this horrendous debt and they were sending these letters. I would like to know, uh, how come the only people that seems to be working is these computers sending these threatening letters to people? Uh, what appears to be fake letter and it, it's not real. Because I know damn well the IRS did not send me a letter. Let me read what it says here. It said to Juanita Morgan, as of September 27th, the date 27th of 2021, we have not received your overdue tax. After sending several notices to you, that's as far as I'm going to go. But I'm wondering how they get away with sending this fake shit in the mail, this threatening shit in the mail. And I'm wondering how they still getting away with this computer still sending out this shit, but you can't get nobody on the goddamn phone. How many people out there has been trying to get through to the IRS? The same with the unemployment office. But both of these have sent letters here with some damn balance. Now the IRS, I do owe. I do owe. Now, I just got a bill for my new taxes I just filed where it had to be paid by September 13th. I, I wasn't being able to pay that in full. So I sent a payment this past week, and I'm going to have to keep making payments. But you can't get them on the phone. So my other resort is to possibly put a letter in with the payment to tell them I can't get you on the phone. You can't get them on the phone. I done stopped trying to get them on the phone. The, the t I tried to get IRS on the phone recently. I was on hold two and a half hours for it to act like it was going to pick up and then made me go through all the props again, pushing the numbers of who I need to speak to and then put me on fucking hold again for two and a half hours. I done left the yard, drove to the landfill and back to the yard and they had not picked up. But you continuously sending fake letters here. The IRS don't do this. Who would send a bill here saying as of September 27th? What's today's date? As of September 27th. That ain't no mistake. That ain't no error. I'm tired of them sending these fake letters here because my IRS debt is at uh, intent to seize and levy. But you know, that happened during the pandemic. The last payment I was able to make of my payment arrangement was in November of 2019. I contacted the IRS and told them that that company I was with, I had no longer with. So I wasn't able to make my payments. Then I think I contacted them sometime in the beginning of uh, 2020. Uh, 20. What happened? The fucking pandemic. Ain't nobody working. So now, I managed to get a trucking job that I only was able to keep from January to March. Then I got let go again. Now, prior to me, before I got let go, I had already contacted the IRS. She told me what I needed to do because my, all my tax returns, were never, what they weren't filed on time because I was over the road and I couldn't get that. That shit wasn't filed on time. So I just do it. Whenever I got the chance, because I'm out here trying to get some goddamn money, because every time I turn around, I was getting let go. But that's not an excuse. But that is what happened. IRS is very aware of that. I was in a payment arrangement. They know why I was no longer in a payment arrangement. And then after the payment arrangement, the pandemic hit. But I got to deal with these motherfuckers sending these fake letters bullshitting ass letters, these threatening letters to my motherfucking mailbox and they ass won't even pick up the goddamn phone. You on hold two and a half, two and a half hours. It's ridiculous to be on hold. And then they come here and constantly, these letters are coming in my box damn near every week. But you can't get a motherfucker on the phone. I done stopped trying to get unemployment on the phone. I sent them letters explaining that I don't owe them. They get on the email of mine and send me a notice, an a, a email notice to my, if you still need help, you still in the queue. 
If not, I think you're supposed to respond to the queue or say something in the queue to let them know you don't need any help. But you're not supposed to respond to anything if you still need their assistance. And I have them logged on my email. I got about three or four of those. And we all know there's some bullshit going on here with the unemployment office. Let me tell you what's happening. You better stop using me for your goddamn investigation. You send this fake shit to my goddamn house and then want me to get on here with a damn response and explain. Don't send no motherfucking threatening ass letters to me. And we still personally, we're not in the pandemic, but it ain't over. And you know what happened. And then don't you dare send a motherfucking fake goddamn IRS letter here. Threatening damn letter about what you gonna do with the wrong fucking dates on it. Ain't this a bitch? Wait a minute. Let me see when this date, this letter is dated. Oh, the notice date on the letter is 9-27-21. How could the notice date be 9-27-21? But yet, you got my social security number on here. The current tax year that you're talking about. But the date's wrong. See, and I read the little news story about the IRS is doing some type of investigation about these people who didn't get their child tax credit. Don't use me for your investigation. Because that's what they do. They send fake shit here. And then I get on Facebook writing about the fake shit. And it's somehow helping with their motherfucking investigation. You're going to get your ass in trouble. This is the United States Postal Service that you putting this fake bullshit in. Don't send this shit to my motherfucking house. Next time I call, you need to answer the fucking phone. I have tried to contact. The last time I spoke to IRS was back in a few months ago. And the woman told me I needed to file my current year, which was 2020. She said I had to pay 400 and something dollars and then fill out this paper that she was going to send me in the mail to get into a payment arrangement. I have done that. I haven't heard shit from them since. But now you sending a bill here. Now, this is a nice little piece of change I have to send out. For, it ain't no $400 I can go ahead and just pay in a lump sum. We talking about a two thousand, little bit over a $2,000 bill for my 2020 tax debt. That ain't finna be paid in no lump sum. But you sending this shit to my house. And I'm wondering if I did have the, the money to send it as far as a check or cashier's check and dropped it in the mailbox, who the fuck would it went to? Because the dates is wrong on here. How can you, what are you, you post dating notices now? The only people seem to be working is your motherfucking computers sending out these threatening ass fucking notices. I'm recovering from a loss of my truck. I'm recovering from the pandemic era. And you sending out fake IRS letters now? I don't play this fake shit. Let me tell you something. You put some old fake shit in my mailbox in a certified mail, your ass gonna be arrested. We gonna find out who this shit really came from because ain't no IRS, computer or not, did this shit. Don't no computer post date no letter. This letter is dated 927. That's a few days from now. So you sent out a letter post dated? Bullshit. So, I'm going to show you a partial of the letter. I'm going to try to cover up my important information. But uh, I'm going to show you the top part of it to prove to you that the letter says today. And that they hadn't heard of me from September 27th. I'm going to try to do it without exposing my uh, information here. I'm going to cover up my social security number. And, oh no, I'm going to leave the notice name on there. But I'm going to show you the date. This is the notice date. Now, the notice date. The notice date on the IRS letter is the date that they generated the notice before it hit the mailbox. Oh, look at this date. So you know I'm not bullshitting. This is the shit I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with motherfuckers threatening me about fucking payments over a pandemic and you can't even get them back on the goddamn phone. You know how long I was on hold to get them on the phone back in the summertime for her to tell me what I had to do and I ain't in no payment arrangement yet? I requested a payment arrangement. I'm done with that woman saying she told me I didn't have to call back after that. I mean, not, it's been months. I'm not in a payment arrangement. Same with the unemployment office. About this bullshit man balance that they say I owe. And I don't owe. All this crooked fraudulent shit going on here. That's why I'm making this video so they can see my face. Because I'm calling you a lie to your goddamn face. 
I tried to get you on the fucking phone about that damn notice, knowing I wasn't going to be able to make that payment on the 13th. So I did send a partial payment in, and my intent is to go ahead and see if I can get that caught up. But I don't need no what you intend to do letters coming to my motherfucking house when you don't intend to answer the motherfucking phone. So let me show you the, de the letter. Prove to you this IRS. It says, IRS. That says IRS. Okay, here we go. What that notice date says, 9-27-21. That is impossible to have generated a letter like that. It's fake. And they always doing that shit because they know I be online discussing shit, talking shit, and somehow I'm a good ass, better investigator, but they wouldn't hire me as an investigator. But you want to use me to help out with your fucking investigation by sending this fake shit to my motherfucking house. So, let me see if I can scroll down here and show you the date it says as of. Okay, now. Notice date 927. How can you have a notice date of 927? And then it says, wait a minute, let me show you. As of September 27th, we have not received your overdue tax. As of September 27th. Don't that date said 2021. We have not received your overdue tax. Notice date 927. As of September 27th, 2021. You have not received. And then you sent me a letter about the debt saying I had the September 13th to pay it. What was today's date? Where did this letter come from? What you need to do is answer the phone. I was on hold two and a half hours trying to see what I need. What's the next step? Because I ain't heard from you. And this is what they fucking do. They send you threatening letters in the goddamn mail, pissing you off, upsetting you, but they won't answer the fucking phone. You can't get through to their ass. And I ain't lying about it. You know how many people trying to get through? It is ridiculous that I had to stay on hold past an hour, past 30 minutes, then an hour, then it was an hour and a half, then it was two hours, and then I hung up right before two and a half hours. Because they wouldn't answer the phone. Because you know what happened? The machine kicked in, took me through all the prompts, like I said, and then put me on fucking hold again. I said, that's it. You're not trying to assist. You're not trying to come to a resolution. You're not even answering the fucking phone. But you send this fake shit to my motherfucking mailbox. Stop using my mailbox for your fake bullshit.